Hello, friends. Meteor flies and Meteor destroys the planet. The planet has survived. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I looked down and saw beautiful clouds. Also, I saw a few waterfalls. It is simple when someone is standing above the waterfall, but be higher than clouds was amazing. I looked ahead and once again looked to nothing. Yes, there was nothing, only clouds and nothing more. I just started to think, how many secrets had left to that mountain, but Mason screamed. Hey, Jacob. Stop acting like a nerd and start walking. I looked back. The first thought came to me. What the hell Mason was doing here? Why he went with us? This guy everywhere was needless. Be quiet Mason. I said. We are in a strange place and no one wants to awake some sleeping danger. What the hell are you talking about? Mason was surprised. Yes, my talking was strange, but I always like some philosophy sentences. Jack and Maria came to me. My genius philosopher. Maria smiled. At this time I heard something. Perhaps steps. I looked right side and saw that someone was running. A few seconds and I realized that it was not human. Maybe it was a bear, but the bear could not run with two legs. I only managed to say, careful, it is coming. The creature like wolf jumped and caught Maria. Her boyfriend Jack tried to help, but one hit of the monster and Jack was down. Maria screamed. Maybe she did not know, that everything just started. In the next moment, the monster bit her in the right hand. Jack stood up and wanted to attack again, but I stopped him. I took the gun, came a little bit close to the monster and aim. Be careful, you can shot Maria. Jack screamed. The monster heard everything and, possibly, understood human language. The monster let go of the woman and turned to me. I looked at his wolf's head and monster roared. It started to walk. Of course. The monster wanted to kill me, but I shot monster's head. We came to Maria. The woman was crying. I'm dying, she said. I looked at the wound and said. No, you will live. I said calmly. At this time Mason came to us and said. Jacob, you are the real man. It's good that you killed the freak because I wanted to beat him and after this cut his wolf head. You idiot, stop this foolish scene and go find the group members. I screamed. Mason went away. We were tried to help Maria. She was still crying and begging for help, but what we could do? She needed to be patient and pain would go. Suddenly we heard loud breathing and looked up. The same monster was stood up and watching us. The monster was very angry. I always thought that a gun could kill everyone. Okay, it was a monster, not a normal creature, but I shot the monster's head. How it could be alive. This was the moment when everything is gone. Death is in front of you and watching. I became sad. A few minutes ago there was nothing in front of me, only clouds, but they were at the lowest point. Right now death was watching me and my friends. And it was funny, that a few minutes ago I saved Maria. Why I saved Maria? Because in a few minutes death will return and kill everyone. It was sad and funny. The monster started walking and Maria screamed. At this time Mason jumped from trees. He ran towards the monster and screamed. Bloody freak I'm gonna kill you. The monster turned and at the same time, Mason stopped. He screamed and ran away. And this is our hero? Jack said. He quickly took the gun from the ground and shot the monster. 
A few minutes and Monster would be fine. I said. We need to hurry up. Jack took Maria, I was protecting them with a gun and Mason was running like a scared rabbit. We went to the forest and heard the monster roar. There was no doubt that the creature stood up and wanted to kill us. His head was shot twice and we were blamed about this. After a few minutes, we heard wolf howl. At first one, then second. Another and another. There were too many wolf monsters. I quickly realized that monsters were coming to help their friend. This was very bad news. It all meant that the hunt began. Many monsters wanted to catch humans. We all heard some footstep noises and drawers. The safe place. Jack said. We need a safe place. We all continued walking and after half hour went on the hillside. There were many trees and no one could see us. We looked from the hillside. In the big forest were many roads. On every road, the monsters were running and searching for us. The werewolves, Mason said. They exist and werewolves would kill us. Angry Jack turned and hit Mason. The boy fell down. Jack, what are you doing? I stop Jack. Everything happened because of him, Jack said. But why am I always to blame? Mason stood up because you are an idiot. Jack answered. You screamed, and their werewolf heard your voice. No way, Mason said. Yes Mason, yes, Jack said. Because of you the werewolf almost killed Maria. I looked at the forest and saw something terrifying. Maybe we quickly forgot about the danger and begin to fight each other. Like those moments, Danger did not love to be lazy and wanted to get back very fast. Hey, the werewolves are coming here. I said. We need to go immediately. But Maria is in a bad situation. Jack said. I'm okay. Maria said. We all were surprised. A few minutes ago Maria was crying because of pain and right now she was full of energy. Maybe in life. Good things are coming a very strange way, but this did not have any meaning. The main thing is that something good started. Why should we have thought of Mary's new energy? She was fine, and all we needed was exactly that. We continued walking. The strange journey was continuing and wanted to show us many new scary things. Very soon our group members will find us. Maria smiled. No, they are all dead, Mason said. What did you say? Jack was shocked. When Jacob said, go and find a group, I went away and find dead people, Mason answered. Who killed them? Maria asked. Maybe werewolves, Mason answered. We knew that situation was much worse than we all imagined it. Mason was walking behind. I looked back and saw that he was crying. It is strange when an adult man cries. He did so many mistakes. Mason always was the guy who's spoiling everything. Jack, Maria, Mason and I were learning in one school. It is not over. Not only school but in the same class. Mason always was some kind of freak. He wanted to do the right things but everything was becoming deadly. One evening whole class members went to the club. Everyone was dancing. Only Mason was sitting alone. Finally, he caught one beautiful girl. They started dancing. Mason immediately fell down and the girl went on his way. It was strange but the girl's hand was broken. Because of this, the girl's boyfriend really badly beat up Mason. This was only one story when everything went wrong. There were many stories about Mason. Yes, Mason always was some kind of freak. He closed the distance and said. 
Everything is so bad. Calm down, Mason. I said. How many times I had calmed down and said, that the future will change, but everything is going in hell. Mason said. At this time we went on the field. There were no trees and nothing could hide us. Werewolves can see us. Jack said. We wanted to continue walking, but Maria screamed. Everyone, look up. We looked up and saw a big planet. The planet was very close. Oh, no. Mason said. Where we are. Our expedition mission was to find an ancient city. We went into the jungle and find the cave. The whole group went to a cave and we came here. We are on another planet. I said. But how is this possible? Maria asked. Maybe the cave is a portal. Mason answered. We entered a cave and the portal brought us to another planet or to another world. Mason, finally you said something smart. Angry Jack smiled. I clearly saw how strong Jack wanted to kill Mason. Our plan was to run and hide. In one second plan became a stupid thing, because we needed to get back to the cave. Every new step was killing hope to survive. Of course, we wanted to get back, but at this time werewolves roar came very close. Seemed that monsters knew where we are. We continued running and I clearly realized that chance to survive was very low. The portal was behind and we were running forward. We came to the tower. Jack tried to open the door, but this did not have sense. The door was locked. They are coming. Maria screamed. I looked back. Many werewolves fled to us. Yes, the night was black, but the moonlight was shining and black figures red eyes became much scary. I did not want to imagine what would happen after a few seconds. They were very close. Hey, quickly. Mason screamed. I looked at his side and saw an amazing thing. The door was open. We quickly entered the tower and Mason locked the door. We heard hit sound. Werewolves tried to break the door. They did not want to stop. Fortunately, the door was very solid. Hey, loser, how you opened the door? Jack asked Mason. I don't know. Mason answered. We all went to the second floor. The tower was very high. Big energy has gone to went on the highest floor. There was a big balcony. We went towards to balcony, but strange noise stopped us. Maybe someone was smiling? I don't know. The old man entered the floor. He was wearing a black robe. Time has come. The old man screamed like crazy. You are werewolf? I asked. Of course. The old man smiled. I took the gun and wanted to shot the werewolf. It was bad. We all thought that the tower would be a safe place, but it turned out that there was a werewolf. You don't need a gun. Werewolf said. And why? I asked. I'm not a warrior. He said and sat on the chair. I'm only the shaman. Yes, I'm a shaman. It was interesting and also funny. Old werewolf and shaman. What the hell was going here? I'm waiting for immortal. The shaman continued talking. In this world war is continuing between werewolves and vampires. One bite of the werewolf and vampire is dead, problem is that after years vampires are becoming stronger and they also are immortals. We are losing the war. Because of this, 1000 years ago, king of the werewolves did the magic ritual. He died, but after centuries his reincarnation will return. It turned out that old werewolf was waiting for the king. He was waiting for 1000 years. The shaman said that time has come. 
No one could open the door of a tower. Only the chosen one, the only king could do this. We entered the balcony, in the valley where wolves and vampires were fighting. The old shaman was right. There was a bloody war in this world. Maybe this world had created the monsters. The humans did not need to be here. One werewolf bite Maria. Jack said to the shaman. She will be okay or not? Maria will turn into werewolf. The shaman answered. Jack screamed. I imagined how much pain he could tolerate. Maria tried to calm him, but Jack was screaming. He said that Mason was blamed for everything and Mason would die. The king can help Maria. The shaman said. How? Jack asked. How the king can help Maria? King can turn humans into werewolf and wolfman into a human. Shaman smiled. This is very easy for the king. But there is no king? Jack screamed. You are wrong. Shaman said. There is a king. One of you is king. Who opened the door? The door opener is a king? Jack got back in the room and we all followed him. This is stupid. He screamed. Mason opened the door. Mason is a loser, he could not be the king. The shaman explained that ritual power was working in a strange way. The magic power was following the king. The power would destroy everything on king's life to show the way. Yes, the werewolf king needed to get back on his planet and magic would help him. And at this time I had understood everything. Mason was a loser. Because of this, he became interested in some ancient cities. After learning, he began working at an archaeological company. The idea to come here belonged to Mason. He talked to the company director and told the story about this ancient city. I looked left and scared. The statue. I saw a statue, and it was like Mason. The old shaman was looking 1000 years of this statue and he knew King's face. He knew which one was chosen one, but he did not say. I showed everyone the statue. Mason, help me, Maria said. But how? Mason was confused. You are an unfit idiot. Jack screamed at Mason. We all were very tired. We all fell asleep. The very scary nightmare came to me. The werewolves broke the tower door and went inside. They wanted to kill us, but at this time vampires came. They said that vampires loved human blood and a group of people belonged to them. Everyone smiled. I opened my eyes and saw shining. I wanted to scream, but Jack said that we all needed to be silent. We stood up and Shaman screamed. And finally, he is back. Shining disappeared. We saw Mason, but he was changed. No, his body was the same, but now Mason had confidence. Old Mason was always scared and boring, the new one had power in his eyes. His A's became red and Mason said. Maria, now you are human. Thank you, Mason. Maria smiled. The tower door is open, Mason said. And what? Jack asked. Run. Mason screamed. I need crazy hunting. In the next moment, Mason attacked the shaman and cut werewolf's head with his claws. Maria screamed. We started running. He was following us. Mason wanted to kill us. Now he was a bloody killer. We went outside and saw a strange man. A few seconds after, I looked back and saw that stranger told Mason that vampire army was winning the battle and werewolves needed help. This news stopped Mason's hunt. Because of this, we got back to the portal. Fortunately, we returned to our world. And Mason? What happened to Mason?
Did he win the battle? I did not see how the battle ended, but I knew that he had won. The werewolf king 1000 years was waiting and he had to get back for winning. But what feels Mason? Did he like to be werewolf king and live in another world? I do not know that. I only know that Mason always was some kind of freak.